Hello Taurus. This is your November 2019 reading and as you know it will not resonate with all Taurus individuals. But I'm looking for a reading for November 2019. Full Celtic Cross for the energies coming in for Taurus. Those born in the Zodiac sign of Taurus. Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies. Hopefully positive energies for Taurus. See what the beginning energy is. You know I always hope for a positive reading, but if we don't get one for any reason, we work through it. And remember, I'm give, I, I, I've been saying this through, I do not remember. I've been saying this through to all the signs I've been reading for this, uh, for November, that I'm going to give a love reading at the end, a pick a, pick a pile, pick a, pick a reading, um, three card, three pile reading for those that are wanting love, you know, want to know about love, and it'll be at the end. Now, the energy coming in, you feel like you didn't get a victory with the Six of Wands in reverse. You're aiming for it, but you feel like something's not coming in the way you're wanting to. You feel like, uh, oh, that did not work for me. So we'll find out what's going on. Messages. I got this for Aries, too. And I guess I shuffle these prior, and I shuffle all the time. You know, I, I meditate on each and every sign before I even turn on the video. And I shuffle, and I shuffle. But this is messages. This is also travel. Things coming in quickly with the Eight of Wands. It's crossing it. Strength. Your energy is zapped. You need more energy. You need to get motivated, too, with the Strength card crossing it. What crowns you? The Hangman. You're trying to come out of stagnation. You want to come out of stagnation. You feel like things are holding you back, or maybe you just, like I said, don't have motivation. Foundation, you want to let go of a burden with the Ten of Wands in reverse. You feel like something's too heavy to carry, and maybe that's why you have no strength. In the past, you feel like you didn't get your Ten of Cups, your overall emotional satisfaction, your overall um, happily ever after. You feel like you didn't get it. And most people feel that way with the Ten of Cups in reverse. I see this a lot because people are aiming for this, and they feel like they didn't get it or received it yet. In the very near future, you may be saving finances. You may be gaining more finances and saving them with the Four of Pentacles. You know, holding back from somebody. Saving, because you may actually travel somewhere. You may go on vacation, or you may be saving up for a vehicle. Because the Eight of Wands has to do sometimes with a vehicle. Especially if I see the chariot with it, but I haven't seen the chariot with it. But it still could be. So some of you will be saving money. Money will be coming in, and you will be able to save it. You're not going to you know, spend it on everybody. You're going to spend it on yourself, more or less. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is um, judgment in reverse. This is uh, possible. This is, a, you know, and it's also advice from the universe. And i got to clarify, because judgment in reverse can be so many things. It could be... Um, uh, be careful of the decisions you make. Um, be careful of signing contracts. Um, um, getting, you know, court. Maybe um, if you are going, like, say, for a car, be careful. You, you, you read everything. You know, the fine lines so they don't mess you over. You know, watch your money. What is coming towards you is the King of Rods. This, this is Aries, um, Leo Sagittarius. As you know, I do not assign one zodiac sign to a court card, a main court card here, because I'm reading for the masses. The King of Rods is somebody who is uh, really passionate, mature, very positive person when I see them in the upright like this. And they're, they're outside environment. They're coming towards you. Maybe it's somebody you like. Maybe it's someone giving you advice. Or maybe someone you haven't met yet. Got to clarify. And you know, when I clarify, like I said, it changes the story up. It doesn't stay the same. Or it gives us more information. I like as much information as I can in a reading. Especially when I'm reading for large groups. Your hopes and fears, the high priestess, you may be afraid you'll make the wrong decision. You may um, not trust your intuition. You may be afraid of um, something may come out for some of you. Again, I will clarify. Final outcome. Be careful. Be careful who you trust. It's the contracts. Okay, if you're going to take on something and get and buy something or go somewhere, the only negativity I see in this with the Ten of Swords is that you may end something that's a little sneaky that comes out that you don't trust. And we'll find out more. And like I said, we'll do a love reading. But you got the Ten of Swords at the end. And don't be upset if you get something like this. It's warning you of something so you can change it and not have that Ten of Swords happen to you. 
So I see, like I said, the Eight of Wands. This is going to come up quickly, and you're kind of tired. You're exhausted. You need something, and I need more information. So the Eight of Wands in the upright, Strength card crossing it. Two cards for Taurus. Two cards. Two more cards to give us more information. You're not happy with your home situation. You may put an end to something. Some of you may move. And like I said, some of you may get a new vehicle. Some of you may end communications with somebody because they're exhausting. But whatever it is, you're not having a happy home situation or happy in your current environment where you're, you know, your deep environment of yourself. And you may actually decide to, I can't do this anymore. Now, what crowns you are the goal. You're tired of hanging around. You don't want to wait. You don't want to suffer. You don't want to do any of these things. You just don't want to be there. So the hangman in reverse while you're there. For Taurus, that would crown them or the goal. While you're there. Two cards, please. If you want to go out and have some fun, you're going to decide to do it. You're, you're wanting to step out and decide to do something. But remember, there's a warning here with that. Make sure you look at all the fine print. And what is going on around you. It's okay to celebrate. It's okay to save money. It's okay to go do the things you want. Just don't. I'm seeing here. Just watch for people that aren't in your best interest. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying it's warning you of them so it doesn't happen. Okay. That you put an end to negativity too. To, so you don't get betrayed. You know. So I'm seeing out. Go ahead and celebrate. Just watch you celebrate with and watch you give your money to. I see that you are going to hold back some money, which is a good idea, but you are saving your money. Just make sure someone in the end doesn't, you know, try to, you know, take your money from you. Now, the foundation, you got the Ten of Wands. It's releasing burdens, releasing heavy loads in your life that you feel like are too cumbersome, you know? So the Ten of Wands, sorry about all that noise. The trucks are out there, but I got to give you the reading the way it is. Ten of Wands in reverse while you're there is a foundation for Taurus. Two cards, please. Yeah, you feel, you're releasing a bird. You're releasing an injustice that has been done to you. You may have received a message that had to do with finances that someone tried to mess you over and you may release it. So I'm thinking this Ten of Swords energy is already occurring and you're releasing it. Because this is an ending energy with the Ten of Swords. You're saying, you messed me over. You know, bye. You know. But as a foundation, you want to release something. And they got the um, the death card there. You were definitely wanting to release something. Or something was released in your life that was betrayal. And now you're going to be saving up money. And the reason why, that's the reason why you're doing that. You're going to get some help, too, with the give and take. Even though I did not call this, I'm not going to put it down. That is the Six of Pentacles. It's a little give and take. If you see somebody, is someone helping the someone that's at a disadvantage? That's what it means in this in this deck. Someone is, is doing a little give and take, and they're seeing someone in need, and they help them. So maybe you're, you are getting this. Maybe you are receiving this in some way. Now, in the past, you didn't get your Ten of Cups. You're happily ever after. And everybody's looking for that rainbow, you know, that gold at the end of the rainbow. So the Ten of uh, ten of Cups in reverse in the past. Why are you there? For Taurus, you've been feeling like you didn't get all that you wanted. It could have to do with the fire sign energy. And you don't want to argue and you don't want to battle because that's all you were ever doing with possibly somebody. Maybe there was just too much passion there with the Queen of Wands. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I'm thinking this is a passionate energy someone was wanting, and they're not wanting to argue and fight to get it, though. They're, you know, they're, that's not the way to get your Ten of Cups. That's what you're feeling. You're wanting more passion in your life. You're wanting what you're wanting, and you're not willing to fight, you know, with people over it. You know, there's bitter arguments, the Five of Swords in reverse. In the very near future, you got the Four of Pentacles in the upright, and it's a great card. As someone who's able to save wealth, you know, to save the things they want in life, money may come to you, and you're going to make sure you keep it close, you know, in your banking account. You're going to spend it on yourself, on the things that matter to you, in other words. So the Four of Pentacles in the upright in the very near future. Oops, the sun, and you're wanting to be happy. The sun, you're going to, you're going to regain your wealth and be happy. But I think you're cutting out stuff, too, for sure. And you're going to be telling people this because of an unbound situation. 
you know, you're going to save your money, be happy after an unbalanced situation with the temperance in reverse. You're no longer going to work on the negatives that didn't occur in your life, and you're going to probably let some things go. One thing about Taurus with uh, Uranus, 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 however you want to say it, you can leave it in the comments. How do you say this word? Um, but with that going through your sign, and every time it hits a Taurus sun sign within three degrees, it may cause a little chaos. It'll either um, make things kind of chaotic or bring in windfalls. And so that's what you're dealing with for the next seven years. So I don't expect a Taurus um, reading to ever be the same because it's going to be changing up just like Uranus, 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 whatever you want to call it. But I do see you saving some wealth and gaining some happiness, but I also see you cutting things off that will um, hurt you. And the advice from the universe is to judge possibly against something, too. You need to judge against something or do something or make a decision because things haven't been going right with you. And always watch who you deal with. I'm thinking a lot of you already dealt with this. You already dealt, you know, with the betrayals. And this just shows me that you, you are putting it from you and gaining your, what you're wanting. So... And like I said, we'll do a love reading at the end if you want love. But um, the judgment in reverse, I need two cards for Taurus as a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. You may judge against something. Yeah, you're not going to take a leap of faith because there's no growth in it with somebody. Or you may stop something that you took a leap of faith with because there was no growth. Now, the outside environment coming towards you is the king of rods. They're in the upright, you know. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius someone passionate, someone possibly a mature. So, good looking. King of Rods, coming towards Taurus while you're there. I need two cards. What are you doing for Taurus? What are you, why are you coming towards them? Hope it's for the good. Hope it's a positive thing. Ah. Oh, no. Shows them here in the upright, but here it's also in reverse. So I'm thinking... I don't think this person's a horrible person or a bad person. I'm thinking they're wanting what theirs is also with the Four of Pentacles. So they may, it, you're holding tight on what is yours, your finances, and you should, but they're wanting their piece of the pie too. It's not that they're bad, but they may come off a little snippy, you know, to you saying, well, where's my cut? Where's what's owed to me? What, what, you, why are you holding back? If this has to do with love, maybe they're holding back their feelings and you're holding back your feelings because everybody just wants what they're wanting. I do not see the King of Rods as being totally um, a terrible person. I see them getting a little put out, though, because of the holding back situation with the Four of Pentacles. Now, your hopes and fears, you got the High Priestess. That's so many different things, but I need two cards. And I told you what some of them are, but I need two more cards to really know. So the High Priestess in reverse and the hopes and fears of Taurus while you're there. Star card, the Page of Swords. You're afraid of the messages. You're afraid of th something is hopeless. Maybe you're afraid something come out. Maybe you're not trusting your intuition. Maybe you don't know what to say. You know, these are all that's going through your head, possibly. But most of all, you're losing hope in a situation that has to do with a Page of Swords energy, with someone who is uh, maybe sharp with their words, or maybe you're afraid you'll be too sharp. And maybe you'll say things that maybe you shouldn't say, or maybe you'll, you know, you want to take them back, or maybe someone else around you is going to do this. Because sometimes these readings can flip. You know, the person that you're dealing with or people around you are going through this, and they're watching this reading. And this could be their energy they're feeling. But it's, it, I'm reading for Taurus. And like I said, things are a little chaotic for Taurus, you know. It'll never be the same. One thing it won't be is boring. Now, at the, in the end, you will probably um, end something because of betrayals. You're thinking, it's over. I'm done. I'm keeping what's mine. I'm gaining some money. And you ain't getting it. So, Ten of Swords in the upright. Why are you there for, you know, Taurus? Two cards, please repeat myself. Two cards for Taurus, please, for the Ten of Swords at the end. Oh yeah, you're you're cutting things off with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone's uncommitted, or someone you're not happy with. You consider them confusing, and everything they offered you was confusing, and you cut it off. You are going to take things slow, 
and steady with the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to make sure your stability comes in with the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. It is slow and steady energy, but it's a good energy. It lasts a long time. So if you are getting finances together, if you're going for new jobs, new for everything, it will come in. Even though it's a little slow, it will come in. Okay? That's the, something you need to know. Some of you will be dealing with um, yourself, actually. This is you. You're taking things nice and slow and steady and gaining your income, but you are cutting something out because it's too confusing for you right now. Now let's see about your future love reading. I don't know if this is a, a lover, a worker, someone you worked with. It could be so many things with the um, king of rods. I don't see a lot of feelings there. I see a lot of I want what's mine energy, you know, and someone may try to take it from somebody, but I do see um, Taurus ending a something because of a betrayal situation they don't trust it it's confusing and they don't try to trust the knight of wands in reverse so and then another thing about the knight of wands they can get a little um irritated and they short tempered okay so i need three cards three piles love reading i've been seeing a lot of people doing this and it seems to be really popular so there's nothing wrong with you know i'll, I'll jump on the bandwagon but we need three cards three piles one Taurus is drawn to the most it's okay to pick more than one if you feel drawn to it but this is for November 2019 love coming in for Taurus so I'm in rising I need three piles first pile please three cards for Taurus November 2019 three cards and no I do not read these in reversal even though I thought about it and I don't fan shuffle them because they're starting to break up and they're really expensive cards Okay, now they are because they're out of print. Now I need three more cards for the second pile for Taurus. So Moon and Rising, November 2019. Love reading. Three cards, please. Hopefully they're positive. And they're not, do something about it. You can always do something about the situation if you don't like it. It's just warning you so you can, you know, possibly change the path. So I need three more cards for the third pile for Taurus. Sun, Moon, and Rising for November 2019. Love. Tell me more about love for Taurus. Now this is not a pretty setup, but it's, a, you know, you're seeing me shuffle and you know it's not being picked ahead of time. So the first style, you all concentrate, right? You know what you want. Give you a second. Uh, you can always stop the video and think about it. Ah. Oh. Romantic feelings, religious factors, and forgiving and learning. So you have romantic uh, feelings towards somebody, but religious factors may come in the way in the future with your belief system. It may give, get in the way, and you may say things to each other to someone you like and love, or they may say something to you about your belief system. And it may get in the way, but it says to forgive and to learn from it. You should both forgive and learn from it with each other. In other words, if you get into it with somebody over something, a belief system, and it can be really, it says religious factors, but it could be other things um, that you have romantic feelings towards somebody, and you, maybe you um, butt heads on something, It's and you may say things that um, you didn't mean, you know, or they said something you didn't, didn't, they didn't mean. It's saying to forgive them and learn from it. You know, I'm not saying you should take them back if they're that bad, but it's saying to learn from it. Second pile, ah, flirt. There may be a reconciliation with a lover or love situation. Someone from your past is returning. Oh, we have Mercury in retrograde coming up. That does happen. When, when, when that comes up, people creep up from the past all the time. It's going to happen very soon. So you may um, be flirting with someone from the past, reconcile, and it's going to happen very soon. So whoever picked this pile, guess what? You're going to meet someone from the past. And it doesn't really have to be a past spouse either, but it could. I'm thinking it is because it's reconciliation, but it could be a reconnect with someone you didn't get real serious with either, you know? And now you're going to start, you know, flirting and getting to know them very soon. Third pile. Ah, playfulness, finances, and career, and free yourself. And I saw this. This probably has a lot to do with this reading here. I, sometimes they connect with this. Sometimes they don't. But I think this one connects. Go out and play and have a good time. Remember I told you about that. Enjoy yourself. Do you. Your finances and career, four pentacles. 
get the money back together. Get that money back in your life. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. In other words, money is a big deal right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you see this? Money is a big deal right now. And it says free yourself from other commitments. So, you know, you can enjoy yourself. In other words, play the field a little. For those that pick this, enjoy yourself a little. Enjoy the money you have. Hold on tight, even though someone may try to come and get it. And free yourself from a negative situation. So, someone's the first pile. And again, romantic feelings. Romantic feelings. Religious factors. Following, forgiving and learning. You know? And here's that one. I don't know if I got this all in the picture. Flirt. Because there may be a reconciliation. It's going to happen really, 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 really soon. And like I said with the others, you already saw this play. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your finances and career because it's going to go on the up. And free yourself from the negative BS. Okay? And that is your reading. And I'm going to upload it. Can you get all this in there? And like I said, your reading is going to change continuously because let's face it, you, like I said, you got Uranus going through your sign, Uranus, you know, whatever you want to call it, is going through your sign. And within three degrees of your sun sign or any other planets you have in there, it could cause things to go like, you know, a roller coaster almost. And sometimes in roller coaster fun rides are fun and sometimes they're not. But like I said, life will not be boring for Taurus or anybody they're squaring or opposite from, you know, you know like, um... Scorpio, Leo, and what is he? Aquarius. So all these energies are there, you know, that it's going to affect Uranus. And that is your reading, and I will upload this as soon as I can. It takes hours to upload lately on YouTube, so I get it when I can. But you are freeing yourself from a situation, a lot of you. Others are meeting new people with the love reading. Others are forgiving, but I do see that you are going to cut off a situation because you like your money and you're not going to let anybody else have it because they, they messed you over. And you will be regaining your happiness and finances, but you're going to cut off something so you'll be able to keep it because you just don't trust someone who's wanting to keep it too. So if you haven't met this person and you're trying to keep their finances, realize they're going to want what's theirs too, and you may have to uh, go for what you're wanting, you know, hold tight to it. Thought I'd put that out there. Talk to you later. Bye.